McLovin has an against the grain. And I thought, I'm going to put him to the test. Can you give me five good reasons why we need to watch tonight's Bengals-Jaguars? And McLovin said, I can't give you five. He said, I can give you ten. Hit the music, Satan. So I am channeling Indiana native Dave Letterman with a top ten Letterman-style oh, oh, okay. list. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I'm going to start with this sort of trivia. Number ten. Tonight is the inaugural Ring of Honor at the Cincinnati Bengals Stadium. They are honoring four great Bengals, players or coaches. All right. Dan, can you name all four? These are old-timey, great, the greatest Bengals. Um, Kenny Anderson. One. Anthony Munoz. Two. Ken Riley. Oh, forget it. Move on, number nine. That was the one you weren't going to get. Ken Riley should be in the Hall of Fame. You're telling me if you ask the average person who are the four people in the ring of irons, Ken Anderson, Paul Brown's on there, Anthony yeah. Munoz, and Ken Riley? Yeah. Get out of here. The all Rattler. Right. I owe you another lunch. Okay. Did Number, I get them all? Yeah, those are the four. Well, you didn't say Paul Brown, but I don't know if you realize coaches were on there. Okay. N- <laughs> Number nine. It's already ruined. Um, okay. Uh, this was a team effort. See if you can guess who wrote this one. Urban Meyer grew up as a Bengals fan watching players like Bill Berge and Chip Myers, so this means a lot extra to him. Who would write a line like that to help me out on my top ten reasons? Uh, Todd? Who else would bring up Bill Berge and Chip Myers <laughs> as a reason to watch this Bill game? Bill Berge Eagles right in your wheelhouse. Oh, God. Thing. All right. Number eight. The Jaguars are going for history. Did you know this? They could become... After this week and next week, the third team in NFL history to lose 20 straight. They beat the Colts in week one of last year and have dropped 18 in a row since. So they're closing out on history. Interesting. Uh, but what, number, are the, what are the other teams? The 76 Bucks yeah. and the 45 Chicago Cardinals okay. are the two worst streaks of all time. Okay. Pretty, pretty wild. Okay. Yeah. But the Jags debut a new offensive weapon tonight that could change everything. And this is a reason to tune in. He's a tight end. You know him. You love him. Dan Arnold has joined the team. Not the Dan Arnold. The Dan Arnold. All right. Better move this along. Number six. <laughs> Jamar, I should have just gone with five. Yeah. Jamar yeah. Chase has 11 catches on the season, four for TDs. Uh, our analytics people ran the numbers. That's 37% of his catches are TDs. Per next-gen stats, he's been targeted on five deep balls. Three he's taken to the house. You know what they call that in football terms, Dan? You know what he's cutting? Top off the muffin. <laughs> no muffin tops here. <laughs> Number five, Joe Burrow. He's going up against a Jags O-line that has four sacks in three games. Mm-hmm. Burrow's faced nothing but good defensive lines this year. He's going to tear them apart. Number five, there's an alternative Manning cast. You might not have known this. Not Peyton and Eli, but Larry and Estelle from Poughkeepsie are doing a Facebook Live showing a virtual <laughs> slideshow of their trip to Cancun. I, Larry don't, I, the, yeah. I, I think you made that up. Okay, number four. The Skyline Chili debate on Twitter. Is it chili or is it soup? Anybody want to weigh in here? <laughs> it's it's chili. Okay. It's soupy chili. Number three. Trevor Lawrence has seven picks through three games. Although, isn't chili soup? Uh, don't get started. Is hot dog a sandwich? Uh, number three. Trevor Lawrence has seven picks through three games. Only two number one picks ever have had more picks through th- uh, three games. Can you name them? Peyton Manning. One. Um, also played for Urban Meyer in college. Dwayne Haskins. Close. Alex Smith. Oh, okay. Uh, number two, and now I'm getting letter this. Why you should watch the Bengals, Jaguars. Number two, your remote is out of batteries. And number one, when the heck else are you going to watch a Jaguars Bengals game? That's against the grain. Thank you, McLovin. <laughs> oh. Wait, did you just hit Seton? I have no idea what happened there. I'm so sorry. Like a whip. I tried to throw <laughs> like, him up in the air. Like, I, I, almost, I almost chopped Seton's head I, off. I heard, oh, no. <laughs> Against the Grain brought to you by Panini America. You can uh, find autograph cards, memorabilia, rare inserts, rookie cards, something for everyone in Panini America packs. Start or continue your collection now at PaniniAmerica.net.